project for socials. Mm -hmm. Thank you, 3D Energy. Very excited. We've got, we've, well, we've literally just landed in Vegas and we've got, a, we had a lot of packages. Um, we're just about to go to the gym, that's why I'm looking like this. But we have, what flavour is this? This one? Strawberry lemonade, it says there. What, the top one? Oh, strawberry lemonade, that's exciting. It doesn't, I find it so weird when the flavours don't match like the can. So, I mean, silver, silver colour, strawberry lemonade, excited to try that. And then we've got, I think, is this the Rocket? Rocket something flavour, or something about Rocket? I've tried this one before, it's really good. So thank you 3D Energy for sending this, this to us. Excited to try these. But yes, we are in Vegas. We're just about to go to Torture Gym, which I'm excited for. We're going to see Amy to train shoulders, which is going to be good. Just got off a plane five out for five hours. So I'm a little bit worse for wear, but it's okay. We're going to power through anyway. I do need to go though. So yeah, we'll catch up with you later. I think you're supposed to be a bit gentle on that. It won't come out. <laughs> there you go. So, Ooh. pretty, very pretty. Yeah, take me to a place. We're in Vegas. Okay, so hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. So we're just sat on. Let me close the door for a second. We're just sat on the balcony of our apartment that we're staying at so we're actually not staying at the prep house because that is under construction at the moment which if i'm honest just bad timing um there, there was so much construction that had to be going on to the house and all that type of thing um it just crossed paths so we're now in a different apartment but if i'm honest the area that we're in is so nice i'm really really happy and yeah i just want to say thank you for team elite physique adam for helping me as always with my preps and stuff like that he does a lot of the stuff by the behind the scenes and I want to give him a massive appreciation for that because he's a lot for me when I come out for these you know preps when I'm in Vegas and stuff like that so it means a lot for me and helps me out a lot so we are currently just under eight weeks out which is wild to me right now um, and I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update because this is going to be a full day of eating on slightly lower food and kind of showing you i guess what i'm having now as my lower food because if i'm honest it's not a lot <laughs> but i thought i'd show you because this is the real raw of what's going on this prep so already gone to dragons this morning for check-in and posing and i have recently just signed up to the posing portal to myself i need to make sure that my posing is on point i need to make sure that all adjustments need to be made as my physique gets leaner and stuff as anyone does so i signed myself up to the posing portal with my lovely other coach b who i would not trust anyone else so this is a little plug if you want to get posing and all that type of thing head to the link in the description box below sign up to me or b i'm currently using b and i just sent my check-in this morning and then I sent my check-in to Adam this morning as well and things are moving nicely things are moving really nicely since I last saw him obviously we increased cardio last Thursday today's Monday and I can feel it definitely so like by probably around three o'clock in the afternoon I'm a lot more exhausted in the day um, than I usually am so that's one thing energy is not the greatest at the moment it's not terrible though but I think in prep you always get those big dips so I think by three o'clock for me it's like I can't do there's no way I can do an evening session or train in the evening because exhausted like just no but things are going well um, we are currently around just under 70 kilos we weighed in just under 70 kilos this morning so which is crazy to me because at around this time many weeks out we were probably around two kilos less but what we wanted to do this year was obviously come in full up be more dense and that's exactly what we're doing and i'm going to put a photo up on the screen for you now of the comparison of my eight weeks out last year versus eight weeks out this year and i'm like mind blown like how my lower looks how my upper looks i know my upper still needs to come down a little bit because i do feel like it's a little bit harsh but that will come down because i'm still 20 pounds up from my stage weight we're definitely not going to be losing 20 pounds we don't think 
we're probably going to be losing anything between 10 to 12 to 15 pounds very excited for that so it's really cool to see like how my physique has developed and even Adam says it. he says this every year he's like in your off season you relax you have fun you chill out and I think that's what makes your prep so more beneficial so much more beneficial because you allow yourself time to relax and rest and do all those things that you kind of you know want to do and then when time comes to prep you're you're ready to go which is why I think my preps are so successful the last three years now I've allowed myself to relax still lift heavy still train heavy and like push in my workouts but also don't restrict myself from life and other things in general which I have done sometimes in the past so it's been good it's been very very good and I'm very very happy with the results and stuff but I did have my breakfast this morning which was egg whites and two eggs and that's it there's no oats in the morning now which is ugh killer but we'll use those carbs for my pre and post workout meal so i only now have i used to have carbs in three meals now i only have them in two so and i have five meals potentially six meals overall depending on how i split them up sometimes on a rest day i'll have six meals to kind of like literally spread them out most of the time on training days though i'll have five meals so in two of my meals i have carbs which is pre-workout and post-workout so and that will just be rice or oats or something like that so and how i'm feeling about everything i feel really really good i feel settled now because you know like I think a lot of people forget what I do and it's so funny because a lot of my close friends message me like what country are you in again <laughs> because they don't know where I am so I've gone from Dubai to UK to Toronto to Miami to now here and it's amazing it's a blessing but I do feel like I'm so much more settled down my body's very happy at that um, because it's just in its routine which is good but I I never want to pass up on opportunities. I never want to pass up on things that I feel like I will regret, like doing the, the live podcast with Laura Lee and being able to go to Toronto with my new sponsors and, you know, going to the UK to obviously do a seminar there. And like, ah, I just didn't want to pass up opportunities and later in life be like, why did I not do that? You know? So I feel like for me, I have to take those opportunities, but I also have to be selfish and realize like, okay, now, it's go time because something really like really made me realize like and it makes me realize every time but Adam's like you could win the Mr. Olympia you could get top five this year like and I don't think I've been kind of thinking about that really as much as I thought I should have I'm just thinking you know what I'm bringing my best I, I'm always about my self-improvement just like as long as I can self-improve then I, I don't care where I place but actually thinking about that placements I'm like I could potentially get top five. I, it's not far away. It's only two spots away from what I got last year. Like, what, who's to say I can't get there? So I think now I'm thinking about that more and it's pushing me a lot through my workouts, a lot through my cardio. Um, so it's really, really exciting to feel that again, if I'm honest. So it's very exciting. But yeah, apart from that, what other things are there to update you on? Not much, really. <laughs> That's about it. Obviously, Max is here, which has been a blessing. And I think for me last year, I was very much like, I want to do this by myself and show myself I can do this by myself and also I didn't want to drag him down here when he had work elsewhere this time he has come and I actually didn't realize how much I more I would enjoy it because he's here you know um so it feels really really nice to have a companion here and like have someone to talk to about all these different things so yeah it feels really really amazing and I love having him here so but yeah egg whites eggs this morning i actually wasn't that hungry this morning i already went to check in at dragons and stuff like that and did my cardio and i was like it's like half well it's almost 11 o'clock now and i was like i'm not hungry i've obviously had it now but like at 10 o'clock i was like i'm not that hungry so which is kind of a good sign if i'm honest that i'm not like dying for food so um but yeah we've training glutes today so it's going to be a push a hard push session today i think because we've got less carbs today but we're gonna soldier on anyway and we're excited for it so i will see you in my next meal we got a ninja creamy and it doesn't work got it off amazon and it's not brand new when they said it was so that's not good okay max is about to show us what is it nitro Nitro brewed coffee. Nitro brewed coffee. So the the lovely girl's house that we're staying at, she, oh, I've, look, I've definitely caught a town from being outside. I've been outside for the past like hour now. Anyway, she has a nitro brewing 
machine thing, whatever it's called. And she gave it to us this morning to like make cold brew coffee. And I'm very, very excited for this because it literally looks insane. So I'm excited to, to try it out. This is the little contraption. So we've done it with Starbucks Nitro Brew. Which I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna get hate for this, but I've never been a fan of Starbucks coffee. And I don't think I, I've realized this in have Miami. You, have you ever had Nitro Brew coffee? No, so I can't really say much, but... Or nitrogen brew. No, yeah, I have had nitrogen brew coffee, but let this one right. look like. Oh. Ah, that looks yum. Very nice. What does it taste of? Doesn't look as brewed as you thought it would do. I, mean, I don't really like coffee in <laughs> That was so underwhelming. Let me try. But what, put some sweetener in it though, because I never like cold. The sweetener's up there. Right. Bottoms up. Oh, I do like. I like that. I know you're not a coffee person though. Well, I was expecting it to come out like the nitro Pepsi. Oh, that's really yeah, good. That that's sense. really good. I'm trying to decide whether I'll or not I want chicken and rice or. Oh, actually, no, I'm going to have. I'm gonna have steak and rice, I'm gonna have steak and rice, that's exactly what I'm gonna have for my pre-workout. Yeah. Take me to a place, go look. Got me on a way, go look. Ooh la la la. Okay, so I forgot to film me raking the rest of my pre-workout. You saw me making my steak, but then I didn't show you the rest, and I've just started eating and I remembered. So, steak, eggs, some spinach, and some rice in there for pre-workout meal, and that is pretty much it what I'm gonna have for a pre-workout. But I am gonna show you quickly what we're having for pre-workout drink, of course, pre-HD Elite. I am actually trying to cut down a bit of my caffeine at the moment, so I am just gonna have this, solely this, and generally this is enough for me in in terms of getting good focus, getting good pump. So I I don't need anything else. Usually I'll do this and pre-HD black, like a half a scoop of pre-HD black, but I'm gonna do pretty much two full scoops of this just to get a proper good focus, a proper good pump on. And I feel pretty wired today in terms of energy. And that's what I like to do. I like to, if I don't need caffeine, I won't have caffeine because I don't wanna be overstimulated and feel too anxious because that happens a lot of the time when I'm on prep. If I have too much caffeine, I'm all over the place. So that's pretty much what we're having pre-workout now. Got again to film when I had my post workout meal again. So we have oats and we have chicken cooking back there. And Max is just watching how Cadbury's eggs are being made. Um, Cadbury's cream eggs. Cadbury's cream eggs, sorry, should I say, because he loves cream eggs. So that's what you can hear in the background. But oats, peanut butter, chicken over there. And that's it. I've had a bit of a shitty day today. I haven't felt very great. Energy's been a bit low. I'm tired. Just normal prep stuff. So yeah, this this isn't a very high energy vlog, but it's I guess the actual behind the scenes of what it actually is like. So yes, on with the day. It's like five o'clock now, so we're gonna do some work and then carry on with with the rest of the day. What's that in your hand? A meal that I forgot to show again. So today I just had green beans. I obviously didn't. I had chicken green beans, but I forgot to show it to you. And I also had a two hour nap when I was supposed to work and do stuff so today's hit me energy wise is really really low today as you can tell from my outfit and my appearance but and you've been asleep for the last hour or so yeah i mean what's the time now it's like half seven half seven at night i think, I think so. so it's okay though it's fine we're gonna try and make sure that we stay awake we're gonna go to the shop to get max some food we're currently just watching a food program on YouTube, so. That keeps my hunger at bay, I guess. But yes, green beans and chicken meal, four, four, yeah, four. One moment, one, bleh, one meal left, which is chicken, green beans, and eggs. And I'll try and actually show that to you <laughs> before this video ends. Chicken, veg. 
I'll smell. Over and out. So, to close off today's video, I'm going to be showing you the new merch for the Be Better clothing. And if you are new here, I have a clothing brand called Be Better Clothing and it's just a small clothing brand, nothing big or anything like that, but I like to release some pieces here and there. And this year we've got four designs coming out. So I'm gonna pretty much in today's video show you the sizing, the designs, and I'm gonna tell you when the pre-launch is going down because it's gonna be a little bit different and what's gonna be happening with the pre-launch to any other kind of merch launch we've done before so stick around to find out so firstly number piece number one we've got the redemption so redemption was a t-shirt that we brought out last year but we've done a little bit of a design alternation to obviously fit my series for this year we have changed the little logo underneath so it used to be redemption be better than before now it's redemption here to shock obviously for this series so this is what it looks like so we've got two pieces. We've got one in gray, which last year it was kind of like an acid wash gray versus this year is just completely like a gray. It's kind of got like a, a very small bluey tint to it, but not much. So this is design number one. And then we've got it in white, which honestly is personally my favorite one because I just think it looks so, so cool. So the top that I'm wearing right now, this size is an extra large. Now, this is my favorite fit. I'm currently right now 155 pounds and I am five foot eight and a half. So I like it because the shoulders kind of sit off off my shoulders are a little bit larger and it's just a little bit more baggy. And that's why I kind of like it. I really like over oversized stuff though. We've got four different sizes. We've got the small to medium, medium to large, extra large and extra extra large so we've got four sizes coming out this year so this is design number one and then we've got the gray slash kind of navyish color now this is a our smaller size so you can see a, quite a big difference between the small to medium to extra large so this is the small to medium it obviously is oversized it's still got like a baggy fit to it but it's obviously not as oversized as the extra large so you can kind of see the difference here um, with what it kind of looks like. I prefer, like I said, the extra large because it just fits a little bit bigger, but ultimately I am also taller. So if you're like, I don't know, something like five foot two and maybe like 110 pounds, maybe the small to medium would actually fit you in a nice way. But this is ultimately what it looks like on me. I still like it to be fair because I think it, it still fits really nicely. Design number three, we have the show them we are better, which you can see the little logo here. This is on kind of like a creamy-ish type top. We've got the little show them we are better on the front and then the big logo on the back. I'll show the foot on the screen for you now. This is kind of like a 3D print, which I absolutely am in love with. And it has a little saying on the back, which is probably my favorite saying. And it's basically as to why I kind of started Be Better Clothing and the reason behind why Be Better is the name of the clothing brand. Being better than before is about beating all past versions of yourself. Knowing your ability and worth is your strength to push for more. Now that is like, I don't know, this is something that is very near and dear to my heart. And it's got my kind of little, little Phoebe Hagen signature at the bottom. So this is probably one of my favorite tops and this is what it looks like kind of close up. So I really, it's one of, probably one of my favorites. Um, and the top that I was wearing, this top that I'm wearing is a small to medium as well. So it just is a little bit, it's a little bit fitter, a little bit tighter, but not as baggy as the extra large, if that makes sense. So, oh, my hair is getting all messy from these t-shirts, but okay. So now we've got the last design, which is Relentless, Nothing Less, which is probably, again, one of my favorites because of this big 3D print on the back and just the logo in general, it's just so sick. So this is the last design and this is a medium to large. And again, you can see it's a little bit baggier, not as baggy as the extra large, but I'm gonna show you the extra, extra large in a second and you can see how big it is. So this is the extra, extra large and you can see how big it is. It's a lot bigger, but I actually, again, also really like it. It's, I've already worn it for one of my leg days and it honestly is so sick. So this is the Relentless Nothing Less, again, with the 3D imprint on the back and that is pretty much all the details. So this is how it's going to go down from the 24th of September, 9 a.m. EST time, all the way through till the 28th of September. That is going to be the time slot for you to order your merch. And once those dates are over, that's it. So you only have a select time and this is going to be a pre-order. So once those dates are finished, it's going to be done. After you've pre-ordered your stuff, it will probably be around two to three weeks until you then 
receive your merch if that makes sense so we are also going to be shipping worldwide a lot of people last year didn't order because they thought it was only uk based it is worldwide based so you can order from anywhere you want so make sure you get your orders in if you have any questions please ask them in the comment section below also keep up to date with the be better clothing instagram and my instagram phoebe hagen instagram because i'll be updating you guys between this time frame so make sure you get ready because this is going to be so exciting because already on instagram everyone been hyping it up so i'm very excited for it so i love you guys so much thank you so much for always supporting please remember to like and subscribe to my channel because it really helps support my channel yeah and i can't wait for, for things to happen so love you guys so much and i will speak to you soon Bye.